Ahoy hoy and welcome to the channel. I'm Dr. Sumerian, not a real doctor, and today we're going to go over some of the dankest memes from the dank memes from Site19 subreddit. So let's just get started. This one is by BushGuy9, Things That Don't Exist, SCP-055, Site-5, Recognizable Bodies in the Water, Chance of an SCP Show or Movie Being Made. Yeah, yeah, those are all equally as likely to exist. Uh, one of the things about... Uh, it's, it's, I mean, so, funny part is, is that their implication is that the first three actually do exist, even if they don't. If that makes any sense, which I know it doesn't, but here we are anyway. Um, but the last one is the, the least likely, I think, of all of them to actually ever become a thing. Uh, of course, we have to make some uh, specifications when we talk about an SCP show or movie. We're talking about like an actual big budget, like work on, say, not on, say, but like by Disney or Warner Brothers or something like that, because there's no way any company would ever invest the amounts of money needed to make something big budget into something that they don't own um, or that they can't then own after creating. Like Disney does stuff with public domain works and then owns the resultant works, but they don't own the original concepts. Um, you know, the various fairy tales, Little Mermaid, uh, or like Aladdin, I think it's public domain out of a, a thousand and one Arabian Nights. Um, yeah, I mean, like, there's a whole bunch of stuff that they've done that's public domain, so, you know, technically they don't own it, but the resultant work doesn't have to be distributed under a public domain license. They can create a derivative work that they then own, uh, which is a whole different thing to the CC license, which is anything you create has to also be create a uh, CC. Right. Top 10 SCP characters tied for number 10, Dr. Sumerian. Uh, I believe the post on this was, uh, by the way, this one's by fanboy X 27 tied for number 10, Dr. Sumerian top 10 SCP characters. Um, I was quite happy to be able to award myself the tenth number 10 slot, and I'm sure very shortly I will no longer actually be tied with Datto for uh, 10th, because Datto it seems like a more popular character in the long run, because it's it became number 10 faster than I became number 10, or I, my character became number 10. Um, but I'm not going to make another video on it, so I win, I guess? Um... It's actually still, I mean, I'm still kind of proud of that. And plus, there's going to be, there's more S Dr. Sumerian articles getting, getting written every once in a while, too. So, who knows? Hi, my name is Jason. Oh, nice to meet you, Jason. Trying to shove Jason into the brain with everything about SCP, friends and family. Tell me, Jarvis, do you know if the Black Moon howls? <laughs> oh, Yeah. I think the solution to this, uh, funny shorts by me, who is the creator of this meme, is to perhaps, what's the word, um, be a jerk and just get rid of friends and family and the, and only keep like anyone who you've been introduced to in the last few days in your head. That way, um, you'll, you'll be able to have uh, interactive conversations with people without actually, you know, screwing up and talking to them about SCP every time. That way, you'll have more room in your head for SCP content, and then just let the let the people's uh, information like fall back out of your head after you're done having a conversation with them. I think that's the best solution. <laughs> Me googling what anti memes are. All the links being purple. Uh, this one's by Hendrick Bazaar, and I have to say, Hendrick Bazaar, this is my favorite one of the bunch for sure. Uh, it made me, it made me smile immediately upon seeing it <laughs> because it was like, wait, what? If there's a meme, yeah, if there is a meme that personifies, not personifies, but like that shows the, that shows visually the phrase, wait, what? It is this meme. And then... <laughs> Adding in me googling what NT memes are, all the links being purple. Oh, that's so good. 
The only way I think this could have been better if it was maybe me Googling what amnestics are. And amnestics. I'll pronounce it correctly. Uh, one of these days. Me Googling what amnestics are. All the links being purple. Anyway. There is no Easter Bunny. There is no Tooth Fairy. And there are no Tales past Series 5. Uh, also, are not is. Anyway. Uh, I know the original is is. There is no... Uh, it's an, ah, I don't remember what the original line is. Anyway, Hollow Minded 12, who is the creator of this meme. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Such a good movie. It should have been, ugh, man. Ugh. In comparison to the other stuff that's going that that was going on in that in that area, I feel like this is a superior film. But it doesn't matter. Uh, yeah, I mean, there's always going to be a tale series for every series of SCPs because that's what people like writing. It's a writing website. Of course, people are going to read an SCP and get inspired to write a tale about it. Article with not minus nine rating. We are on the verge of deletion. We are this close. I, okay, uh, Lee, Le, Le Cube? Le Key Cube, actually. Yeah, it looks like Le Key Cube, um, is the creator of this meme. So, this reminds me, and, and this isn't necessarily about the meme itself, but it's the, uh, the fact that the meme allows me to talk about this briefly. Um, and that's the idea of, why are we so, as a society, as a culture, as the internet, why are we so enamored with the idea of watching something fail? So this comes up. I, I've been frequenting uh, the uh, SCP Declassified uh, uh, Discord for a little while. I mean, I, I was there originally. I just stopped really visiting. Yeah. Why are we so enamored with watching people fail at things is what I want to know. Can we not lift people up? Like, and this this is an example, at the very least, of people watching, like, say, an article fall down to a minus 10 and going, oh, yeah, it's about to fall down to minus 10. It feels like the same kind of energy as, like, I don't know, reality television about relationships or... Uh, actually, yeah, it has the exact same energy as, like, the uh, Maury Povich show, where it's like you are not the father, and then you get to watch somebody uh, break down in tears because they realize that they don't know who the father of their child is, and their child may grow up without a father and and or enough money to provide for them. And you're like, yeah, this is entertainment. It, is it, though? When it comes to low-rated articles, just leave, leave Brittany alone. That's all I'm saying. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, hit the subscribe button and then hit the notification bell next to that so you're notified when I upload new videos. And then head on over to patreon.com forward slash D Sumerian and pledge at any level like everybody here on the screen already has, including MC Kejmal, who has pledged at $50. It's nice to know that I'm not alone out here, and I will see you all again on Thursday.